And Marissa? Marissa Panning, present. And Jan, do you want to introduce yourself as a guest? And Tim Dodd, here is the staff liaison. And then uh, next order of business would be to approve the minutes. We have, I guess, minutes from October and November. Any uh, questions or problems or discussion? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes as drafted. Uh, yeah, motion to approve both October and November minutes. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Have it on two and we pause the volume or mute it on one. Like if it's in the room. I'm muted on mine. Oh. Actually, is that better? That's better. Uh, Marissa, can you still hear us? Yep. Okay. Yes. Because I'm recording on mine, so I'm hoping it keeps the volume, but I think it should. Okay. Okay. That uh, motion is carried and the minutes are approved, so let's go on to the uh, agenda. I, do we have any? Anybody who wants to speak, I think we have some guests here, or a guest. Hearing none, we will move on. The first item that we have up for discussion is our sustainability coordinator position which is now advertised nice. and I would like any update or any discussion around that position. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just give a quick update. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we actually posted it um, today, a little bit delayed from what we had hoped. Um, it is a part-time job. Um, it'll be on the city's website on our recruiting and HR page. Um, you know, we believe that there will be um, some good candidates that apply just because it is an area of interest, particularly in um, the Denver metro area. Um, the job would hopefully start as soon as we're able to identify someone. We're really hoping that it would be in January. That may be hopeful. Um, once they are onboarded, they will be the official staff liaison to this commission, although I will still be, um, at least for the first year, um, coming to pretty much every meeting to help them on board. Um, their, real, their job um, really will be a liaison to this commission, but also to really coordinate the implementation of the plan. Um, they'll oversee coordination among city departments to ensure that projects are completed in the plan. Um, they'll be in charge of working with you to figure out the right cadence to report to the public and city council. Um, they'll be working on developing a website for a sustainability program, which will include reports and updates. They'll also be in charge of working with you on developing measures and targets um, to ensure we're on track. Um, part of their job over time will also be to liaise with other cities and regional entities in the region that are working on this issue to build a community of practice or probably join one that already is in existence. Um, to work with Dr. Cog to ensure we're incorporating regional best practices. Um, and then again, really just to coordinate the work of this, um, this committee. So very excited that we're at this point. When was it posted? Uh, today. Oh, okay. yeah. So we've got the ball rolling a little bit late, later than we'd hoped, but we're moving in a good direction then and let's uh how long will it be posted until it's filled or uh yeah it'll be a rolling recruitment yeah. hopefully we'll get some candidates quickly on the website piece um 
Would that just be an offshoot of the city's website? Yeah, I'll send you after this meeting. I'll send you the link. That would be great. Yeah. And can, can you re repeat? I'm sorry. Uh, what you envision being on the on the website? Oh yeah. So um, I'd love eventually. This is something we'd have to work with this commission on, but. I would love to have a dashboard um, within the next year or two that basically would show progress towards the metrics that you all will work with the coordinator in developing. Um, but it will also be where you know any reports that are generated or approved by this committee commission that are sent to council will be available. Public reports will be available there as well. But um, I really view the website as the way, um, as you know, we transitioned uh, from KEB into the sustainability commission part of the ideas that we'd be reporting out to the public and to council and updating them on the status of the plan so that's really the main focus of the website will be that reporting so status will status will always be available for the public and yeah so the idea right now and again we don't have the technology or we haven't built up built yet with the technology of having of course like a dashboard that could be updated regularly um, I guess what I was thinking is we would probably do quarterly reports. So when I do, I do updates right now to the city council on our strategic plan for the city, and I do those as, this power, as a PowerPoint dashboard. So it's static. Um, that's probably where we'll start, you know, with this. But hopefully, we'll um, our IT department does have a um, some software that um, I'm using currently to work with them to build out a dashboard for the city. You know so, what software it is? Oh uh, yes, yeah, Esri. Yeah. So hopeful that we could do that for this as well, but probably take some time to get there. Make sure we work on this time. Yeah, no problem. I mean, it'll be less work for me in the long run. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> That's a way to make it. Yeah. That's how I look at recruitments. Along with that, we will be and have received uh, applications for new members for the commission. Do you have any updates for us on that? I don't. Um, I meant to check with the city clerk's office and I didn't get a chance. I know that there were about a week and a half ago, there had been three applicants. I don't know if that's changed. How many open spots do we have? Three, yeah, I believe three. Okay. I believe three. Yeah. And along with that, I discovered a month ago that I am term limited, so I believe the February meeting will be my last meeting. Is that like in the bylaws somewhere? Yeah. Did we just rewrite those? The, we could just, we could just pencil yeah. you back in for another 12 yeah. years. Do well, have any aliases, you know? They thought of that too. So, yeah. uh, but we've had some discussions, and if necessary to transition, I could attend the meetings as a guest and help. And I will continue to look at things because I'm interested in it. And Mike and I have had some discussion. And he is uh, I don't know why we're getting feedback. I know I muted it on here. We're good now. Okay. And he is considering his options right now and wants to see what the new commission will look like because he's got a lot of things on his plate but i think we can be in a good place especially by february so i just wanted to make everybody aware of that ruin my day bob yeah ruin my day too because i think we've got some good people coming on as I've discussed with some citizens and stuff and found out some of the apple, some of those who have applied and I think we can do a lot of good things. So, so what is the term limit? Like how many terms have you served that? Well, and that's something that we're going to look at as a commission as, you know, because basically we only have a two year term and I've served the three terms and every commission is limited to three hmm. at the current time hmm. doesn't it count though if we i'm just saying if we switch from keeping a wood beautiful to a new board that is a sustainability commission it's a great point 
Maybe, maybe we could look into that. Maybe yeah. we could argue that. Look into that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the LEAF event. And I would like some feedback to go on the record about what we experienced down there that day. Do we know how the second weekend went? Like, was it as busy? It was even busier. No way. Oh, okay. They were, I talked to a couple of people that went there and uh, it didn't start off as busy, but they were lined up clear back to Santa Fe within an hour after opening. And I guess it did not let up all day long. Was it the same location? Same location, same crew. And did we sit, have anybody from staff there that weekend? Because I don't know how many people Lint Littleton had. Did they change anything about the process? Do we know the second weekend? I don't. I have not heard from anybody. I didn't hear anything. I don't know what you could do. I think it'd be better if, I don't know, maybe not, but if the pile was in the middle, that way you could have people kind of coming, like Chick-fil-A, you know, on both sides. Chick-fil-A's got it down. Yeah. Yep. Well, I would even like to go on a different tack and we've talked about one, if we get a single hauler trash, that we would set up something so that people could keep their leaves out of the trash and yet get them picked up. I also like Denver's model where they have some designated places and you can leave them anytime within a certain period. And then I don't know exactly how they pick them up, but they get them into the compost process. So I think that would be a, a good thing. And we're, I would really recommend that this be one of the first things that the new coordinator puts on his agenda. Or her. And we start finding something because for one thing with the weather this year we have been even after we after the first weekend in November many of my neighbors were still breaking up their leaves so we have a much broader possibility at least this year and I think we need to take some of that into account so uh, if there's any other discussion or comments, I mean, one of the things that I would look at too would be if people could, from Englewood and Littleton, utilize the A1 drop, organic drop off anytime, you know, with some sort of pass or something. I don't know if they would be amenable to that, but that's something that we could look into too, so. Um, or is it, because it may be an option to have something that is a little more self-sustaining. So A1 is great, but then you're also like, you know, dropping your leaves there and then they're selling that. The yeah. Leaves. You know, is there a way that maybe we could have some kind of program? Yeah. I would, I would like to do that uh, somehow. I think in years past, when it was more of a smaller operation, there were some kits given out or something so that you could pick up compost or utilize something like that. I know when the city was collecting branches and Christmas trees and stuff, in fact, I'm not sure if we still do it, but citizens from Englewood could go down to the service center and get some get chips for their mulch, mulch their yards with, and 
I don't know, like I said, if that's still in effect or not. Well, now that the city has increased their communications, and it seems like two two weekends is not enough. I mean, there's just so many people. Yeah. And I don't know if that's what you were kind of talking about with Denver, Bob. Maybe we just create more dates because it was so busy being the entire time. And I think to Rachel's point, a, few, a month or two ago, just breaking up the shifts and making them a little shorter. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and that's, if nothing else, we definitely need to get more volunteers because if Will had not gotten several people from city staff, we would have been completely overwhelmed. So. I think too, there needs to be, and I, I don't know if this is us or A1, but a safe or a first aid kit on site. Some guy, you know, the one guy cut his hand. Or, uh, yeah. uh, you know, because, you know, people will bring knives and, you know, cut things. And, and one guy, you know, he was bleeding all over the place. And I don't think anyone had a first aid kit. Yeah, and I thought to that point, um, I thought it was interesting. Like, I read, you know, Will's email the day before with all the requirements, you know, special gloves and mm -hmm. long pants and boots. So I guess to the nines, but then I don't think everybody there following it and seem like A1 was kind of reinforcing that. Yeah. And having done this for about five years now, when A1 took it over, I think it became a lot more unsafe because they've injected the heavy equipment into the process. Whereas before it was more of you just drop the leaves off, you'll make a pile and then we'll pile them up. And we were not nearly as busy and it's been building for the last two or three years. And somebody told me that some of the trash haulers were not accepting leaves. If they were bagged and out by the trash, they still left them. So, yeah, I heard that from a couple people too. So I did not notice that in my neighborhood. They seem to be picked up, but I think it depends on who your servicer is. Yeah. And maybe what the crew was, I don't know. But anyway, those are all points that we need to look at and discuss, especially as soon as we get a sustainability coordinator in place. Yeah, I feel like the process can be improved. And we can hold Tim's feet to the fire <laughs> if we don't. So. <laughs> yeah. so Anyway, I do not want to go through another couple of years like we have, where we're slammed and everybody's exhausted. And it's just, it's hard to get volunteers for that yeah. event because it's so long and dirty. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and just to point out, Bob, we did get one comment from Jan, who's a guest, um, that there is a lot of interest in composting programs and a group of citizens is interested in going to council about it. And that's one of the things that I think we really need to look at if we go to single haulers. Uh, uh, trash pickup and make sure that that is an option for sure. And see if we can't get something more involved and build something up in that area because it's really needed. Was any of that language that bid proposal the uh, RFPs? I believe from what I remember of the presentation, it is in the discussion. So I guess I could say it's in the hopper. I, we'll see how that works. I asked about this in our last meeting and they said that the two offers they got did not include composting, but that they're working on getting separate composting bids for the city. Yeah, yeah, it's not part of the formal bid right now, but it is part of what they've discussed and they're looking at something that they may be able to to uh, address. And I'm, I think that's something that we as a commission need to address too, because I think it's important.
Thank you. Anything else? Appreciated the coffee and the donuts. Yes. Point notes and positives. <clears throat> Is there anything else we will be judging the holiday lighting here? Yeah, so Madeline uh, Hinkbiss will be coming in. Actually, we mentioned coming in around 5 30, so she'll probably be in very shortly. Take all of you out um, on a bus. There'll be plenty of, of course, space for social distancing. Um, I don't know the exact number. Last week it was 19 entries, so it wow. probably might be higher than that now. Yeah. That's um, way more than last year. Yeah, she yeah she said what? It's usually about. I think what she said one year it was eight. Usually about twelve. We've had eight to twelve that I remember. Yeah, so she mapped out the route. She said it's about an hour driving um and so then about you know half hour it should be of judging so i think the plan will try to be done by 7 30. so and it's it's uh it's my first time doing this it's neighborhood it's based on neighborhood or is it is it just like they, city one? they have added that this year i can see why being individual well i guess too there's like two houses that historically have won a lot yeah because it's like generational. I drove by them last week. Yeah. I drove by them. They're on a Lottie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you Lottie, you just know it's a Bellevue, I think. Yeah. So I can see why they broke it up by neighborhoods. But there are, there are about six that are perpetual entrants and they all have pretty intricate displays. So, all right. Um, my judging goggles on. How many times have you done it? Uh, twice. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What? This is your third time. Hey. Yeah. Does everybody know Madeline? Hi guys. Hi, Hi. Madeline. Hi. Nice to meet you. Logan. Logan. Bob. I know Bob. Yeah, I know Rachel. Me. Rachel. I've met Rachel too. Awesome. On the other Okay, I'm going to hand everyone. Okay, so I guess a little history. It sounds like KEB has done this for many years. And so this year, um, the program transitioned um, to the Neighborhood Resources Program. And so it's a holiday decorating contest. This year we have three categories. We have best business, best neighborhood, and best house. And um, I think next year I'll probably do more than that because I think we would have gotten more if it wasn't like this has to be the best, most lit up. Um, so they're color coded on here. And so we're just gonna drive around um, and you guys just have to score each one. And there's 25, so we've got a route. <laughs> 25, wow. Yes. Okay. Wow. Which is exciting. It's exciting. Um, and they're kind of all over town, actually. But I tried to create the route as efficient as I could, so. I believe it. I'm excited. Yeah. Right. Cool. Well, back to the meeting. If there's no more discussion or issues, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, quick question. Can yeah. I ask a question? Um, so at our January meeting, can we talk about the idea with the new commission and term limits? And is that when we'll have new members on, or will that be a February meeting? Yeah, um, I actually don't know when the transition happens. I think it would probably, probably be the February meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so we can certainly plug that in as a placeholder and I can do some read for January. And I think Rachel's point about the transition. Well, we'll talk, yeah, I'll talk to the city clerk and city attorney's office about it. I need Bob's yeah. institutional knowledge. Okay. And then are we gonna talk about, uh, I guess we'll talk about the LEAF event details with when we get a sustainability coordinator, just to be clear. Yeah, whatever, I think that probably makes sense. Yeah, yeah. cool. And if we need to, we can, Maybe start honing in on some of those issues 
in January, too. We don't need to hold off on that. There's a pretty, you know, if everything goes well, you know, there's a decent shot we'd have someone on board. Mm -hmm. Might be a stretch, but we'll see. <laughs> you know, as the coordinator for the January meeting. Great. Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bye. Thank you much. I'm bye. Right, bye. Bye. I am going to run.